Eliot employs platinum as a symbolic representation of the traditional poet in his essay tradition and the individual talent. Towards the conclusion of part one, Eliot prompts readers to contemplate a chemical reaction where sulfur dioxide and oxygen combine to produce sulfurous acid in the presence of platinum. In part two, he elaborates on this analogy. Importantly, when platinum is absent, these chemical elements do not react, and the resulting sulfurous acid shows no trace of platinum. Despite playing a crucial role in facilitating the reaction, platinum itself undergoes no change, it acts purely as a catalyst. This function of platinum parallels Eliot's concept of the traditional poet. Eliot argues that the poet's task is to amalgamate experiences and emotions in novel ways to evoke new emotional responses in their poetry. Throughout this process, the poet rigorously excludes personal experiences from their work, akin to how platinum contributes nothing to the composition of sulfurous acid. Furthermore, the traditional poet's personal life remains unaffected by their poetry, similar to platinum remaining unchanged, because their creative output is divorced from their personal emotions and experiences. By depersonalizing their poetry, the traditional poet maintains a strict separation between their artistic creation and their personal identity. Akin to Platinum's role as a catalyst that facilitates transformation without being integrated into the resultant product. Thus, Platinum symbolizes the core principles Eliot attributes to the traditional poet, harnessing timeless emotions and feelings, represented by sulfur dioxide and oxygen, and transforming them. While keeping the creative process impersonal and separate from personal involvement or alteration. Sulfur dioxide and oxygen serve as symbols for the experiences that undergo transformation by the traditional poet. These elements require the presence of platinum to react and form sulfurous acid. Prior to this process, sulfur dioxide and oxygen exist independently and do not interact. With platinum as a catalyst, however, these elements undergo a transformation, resulting in the creation of sulfurous acid. Eliot uses the analogy of sulfur dioxide and oxygen in the formation of sulfurous acid to illustrate the method of the traditional poet. According to Eliot, traditional poets refrain from incorporating their personal emotions and experiences into their work. Instead, they utilize pre-existing elemental components that have been employed in various combinations previously. These emotions and experiences are foundational in nature, devoid of novelty or originality sought by the poet. Rather, the traditional poet employs these fundamental emotions to create novel emotional effects through their artistic process. This approach results in the generation of new emotional resonances from familiar elements, akin to sulfurous acid emerging from the combination and transformation of its constituent elements. That is, sulfur dioxide and oxygen, catalyzed by platinum. Let us now look at what Eliot means by the traditional poet. But first, a word or two about tradition. Eliot contends that the term traditional is infrequently addressed in literary discourse, and when it is, it is often in a negative context. Specifically, this term is seldom used to praise authors, whether they be contemporary or historical. This phenomenon arises from a prevalent bias among readers, who frequently prioritize how an author differentiates themselves from their predecessors before considering the merits of their work. Eliot seeks to counter this bias, 
arguing that the most laudable aspects of a poem are those that resonate with the literary heritage. However, when Eliot refers to following tradition, he does not imply a mere replication of one's immediate predecessors. Rather, he advocates that a traditional poet possesses a historical sense, an acute awareness of the entire continuum of the past as though it were contemporaneous. This perspective conceives of all poetry as forming a simultaneous whole, where new works are both transformative of and guided by older ones. Eliot asserts that a critic cannot adequately evaluate contemporary poetry without situating it within the context of past literature. The dynamic interplay between past and present poetry enables mutual adaptation, with the new conforming to the old and the old expanding to accommodate the new. Eliot underscores that a traditional poet is mindful of the ongoing flow of time, which evolves but does not merely discard or improve upon what preceded it. Art, in Eliot's view, does not advance in a linear fashion but rather develops in complexity and depth. The present is distinct from the past in its ability to comprehend it, an insight that the past itself lacks. This nuanced understanding is beyond the grasp of the immature poet. In addressing potential criticisms, Eliot acknowledges that his vision of poetry may appear to demand extensive learning, potentially stifling a poet's intuition and spontaneity. However, he clarifies that the volume of material a poet consults is inconsequential. What is essential is that the poet continuously nurtures an awareness of the past throughout their life. By doing so, the poet consistently subordinates their individual efforts to the greater value of their work. In the second part of his essay, Eliot asserts that genuine criticism should be directed at the poem rather than the poet. A poet's achievement lies not in their personal characteristics but in their capacity to serve as an ideal medium for synthesizing emotions in novel ways. Eliot likens this process to a catalytic reaction, where a piece of platinum facilitates the transformation of sulfur dioxide and oxygen into sulfuric acid without itself undergoing any change. Eliot further elaborates that artistic experience is fundamentally different from other types of experiences. Artistic emotion is inherently complex, whereas personal emotion can be straightforward. Poets create new feelings through intricate combinations of details, producing a consistently intense effect regardless of the specific emotions involved. Eliot maintains that a poet's expression is not a reflection of their personality, but rather the medium through which these intricate combinations manifest. He illustrates that the overall tone of a passage emerges not solely from its originating situation but from its unique amalgamation of emotions. Eliot argues that a poet's distinction does not stem from their personal experiences. A poet may lead an ordinary life and still produce remarkable poetry. Moreover, actively seeking new experiences does not necessarily enrich a poet's work, as artistic emotion fundamentally differs from personal emotion. For Eliot, poetry is not an outpouring of personal emotion and identity but an escape from them. Eliot's ideal poet is the traditional poet, a figure often misunderstood due to prevalent biases against tradition in literature. Many readers dismiss traditional poetry as derivative and lacking originality because they favor novelty. Contrarily, Eliot argues that the finest aspects of traditional poetry resonate when the dead poets assert their immortality. The traditional poet, 
therefore, not only reveres and emulates the past but also possesses a unique capability to understand the past more profoundly from their contemporary vantage point than the poets of the past could understand themselves. Distinct from mere imitation, the traditional poet assumes a greater responsibility than less developed poets, striving to cultivate the consciousness of the past throughout their career. Their work embodies the entire historical continuum of literature, recognizing that art evolves incrementally rather than improving linearly. Guided by a historical sense, they comprehend both the eternal and temporal dimensions of art. By surrendering to the past, the traditional poet depersonalizes their poetry, crafting novel emotional experiences from universal emotions. Ultimately, despite initial appearances, the traditional poet is not a mere imitator of the past but a pioneer of new and significant poetry. Eliot contends that new, valuable, and individual poetry emerges as a reinterpretation of the past in the context of the present. <laughs>